Hiya folks, I want to get some uh, dashboard lights changed on Sharon's car. When we turn the indicators on and off, there's nothing showing on the dashboard. Although you can hear the clicking and the, uh, the indicators are working, they're not showing up on the dashboard and that's quite inconvenient. Uh, there may be a couple of other lamps on the dashboard that need to be renewed as well. We don't know till we take them out because it's bright out here at the moment. I can't remember which ones, if any, need changing. So let's get the clock binnacle out. Let's have a look at the back and let's see if we can get them bulbs changed. Okay, so here we are in our Mark IV Astra Vauxhall, and uh, we've got to take out this cover first of all, which is held in by four T20 screws, one up there, one there, and down, if you look here, you've got two little plugs there, which you've got to flip out, and there's another one in there, and coming over the other side of the steering wheel, you've also got another cap there with another one under there. So we're going to take them out first of all, and as I say, they are T20s. So first things first, grab hold of our T20, and underneath the steering wheel, you can pull that little clip down there, and that enables you to drop the steering wheel onto its lowest setting. Just gives you a bit more space, and then push it back up. And then we'll start off by undoing these top ones first. So you're looking at uh, probably four screws like that, folks. Now, I don't know whether you can see there, but I've seen people try to pull the little clips out this way and dig a screwdriver in there. Just coming from the back, folks, look. There's a little hole in the middle there at the back, and if you click that in the middle, they pop out easy, as you can see. Look, there's that little hole, look. Do you see that? That little cutout. Put your screwdriver in there. And I've seen many people dig down the front there and make a indent in there. That's not what it's for, folks. And then just a T20 in there again. There we go. And then in again from the back with a little screwdriver and just plop that forward, look. And don't drop it on the floor like I've just done. And then get your little T20 again in there. You need to move that up out of the way, that's not a problem. There we go. And just withdraw your screw. Right, now hopefully this should come forward. It may be a bit tricky to get out, but let's just pull it forward. Like that, and there we go. There you go, out. Now as you can see, I've not had to remove the top binnacle. You'll see some people try to remove this first, but we don't need to. I've even seen people remove the steering wheel, which we don't want to do. What you're left with then is another T20 there, another T20 there, and at the top here, you've got a clip, which this should be in this position. I've seen this before when they're over here, where people haven't clipped them back in place. And what that does, that holds the uh, electrical connector, which is at the top, just behind here, onto the socket. So you need to withdraw that, pull that back, and that means now that the electrical connector will just pull straight out on the clocks when we come to undo these other these other two screws. So let's undo them now. There we go, that's the last one. So, I'm just gonna sort of pull that forward now. There we go, it's come out of the connector. This is just sort of a wiggly wiggly job, I'm afraid. There we go, comes out like that. Nice and simple, folks. So that's the binnacle out, and if I just spin that round, you can see that connector. When you um, push that back into its locked position, which is there, that actually holds the connector locks into place. So that's very important, because you get a lot of people have faults with these units, and that's probably because Maybe that this terminal's loose or that hasn't been hooked back into place. Meaning that can move about and come out. And that's the connection I'm talking about. That one there. So it's held in place, as I say, by pushing in and then locking that little lever across and clamping them two together. So you ensure the good connection there. So let's get this inside and uh, do a check on these bulbs. 
Right, so we've got the binnacle inside now, folks. So uh, let's have a little look at these little bulbs here. So they just give a little half turn. And they should pull out. Sort of like that. There we go. Right. So these are them. So let's just put that to the side for a minute. And bring in my multimeter. Let's put it on 200 ohms. That's the maximum range. To see what happens when we short it out. There we go. So we're looking for an open circuit here, folks. So I'm looking for this not to change when I touch that down. Ah, there's one that's open circuit. There we go. So there's one, folks. And I've actually got a box of different lamps and bulbs and things. And I'm hoping I've got some of them small bulbs in there. So I'll have a little look through there, folks, and uh, find the appropriate bulbs, and then uh, I'll come back to you in a second. I've had a look in my box. I haven't actually got the actual bulbs. It appears that these little bulbs in their holders don't come out. I've tried pulling and pulling and pulling. They don't come out. So I thought they were the little capless bulbs, which uh, you could just change. So I'm going to have to buy these, the whole things. So I can't actually replace them today. But what I will do, I just want to have a look underneath here. I'm going to take out these T10 screws, which are situated uh, around holding this black cover on. And just see if there's any other bulbs below this that I'm not aware of. Right, that's M4 off. So now, if we just lift that away, and as you can see, there is no more bulbs underneath there. So you've actually got one, two, three, four, five, six bulbs in there all together. And everything appears to look okay. Those are the uh, potentiometers for the gauges. So there is no other hidden bulbs under there. So I'll place that now. I'll put them screws back in and uh, we'll have to get these bulbs ordered, folks. Right, folks, so I've been online, ordered them two bulbs. So I've ordered a pack of 10, actually, and uh, I'll change all them in one go. So they're not going to be here for a few days. So let's put this binnacle back in and let's just see how easy it goes in. To get this in easily. We had it come out like that. In. Nope. <sighs> it's a bit of a pig, folks. Look. Get out of that way. Just make sure everything's okay there. Yep. Right, so make sure that's in the open position. Slide it in this way, and then tip as you put it in. And it should go in just like that. So you just got to locate that clip now in that socket. So if you're having trouble putting this in like I am, you just pull it out like that. And all you've got to do is just sort of wiggle the binnacle in and it sort of clips back in. So I'm going to take this out, bring that forward. Maybe try and clip that onto the binnacle first of all. Now, maybe get that in there like that. in it yeah so that's clipped in there like that folks now can I get the turn to get that back in there like that right I won't lie to you folks that was a pig to get in and the way I did it was having the binnacle out there Connecting, taking that bracket out like I showed you, connecting it into the binnacle first of all and locking it on and then feeding it back in 
and that bracket up there sort of semi locates itself so as you can see it's back in now and the screw holes are at the front there which they should be so that's now in and look, it's not coming forward now as you can see because it's plugged in solidly trying to push the binnacle in and trying to latch that over <laughs> he'll be here for ages like i just was and i've just found out that was the best way to do it so i'm just going to put these two t20s back in there now one in the other side Doing sure you do tighten them screws up folks, otherwise you'll have a rattly dashboard. So this can go back over now. And again, that should just push in, like that. So it's two screws up there now, two screws in there, the little cap's back on, and the job's done. So there we go folks, just turn the ignition on, make sure everything else comes up, which it does do. And all I've got to do now is wait for the new bulbs to come in. And I can take it out again, knowing that when I put it back in, I know this technique now to get it back in easily. So thanks very much folks, hope you enjoyed that video. And don't forget to check out my other Astra G or Mark IV playlists, where I've got other repair videos on this car. Thanks very much folks, see you in the next video. And until then, bye for now.